in terms of self-advocacy and menopause, is there like one key piece of advice you would give to women who are going to their providers where you're like, do this for me right now? Number one, you're not just advocating for yourself. You're doing it for women everywhere. For the 6,000 women who go through menopause every day, imagine a doctor sees 20 patients a day and all 20 patients say, I want you to put me on hormones. I want you to put me on hormones. I want you to put me on hormones. The doctor is either going to say, I better get hip to this. What's the deal? Start talking to other colleagues or they're going to have an empty waiting room. Plan B is have another doctor in place lined up and say, if you can't help me, I will seek medical care elsewhere. Now that can feel really confrontational for people. So again, you can go back to the chill approach. Hey, you know what? Give it a try for three months. What have you got to lose? I'll sign a contract that says I won't sue you, but I'm really dying here. And I know I'm going to feel so much better. And I've got this horrible vaginal dryness. And by the way, hormones are FDA approved. They're FDA approved. So they're safe to prescribe. And <laughs>